Finally, this is what's left of this winter's snowfall. This small snowblower did its job well, and now it's time to prepare it for the summer storage season. Join me today as I perform that procedure. My machine is five years old now, and I want to keep it for many more years to come. So I devise this end of season ritual in hopes that it will keep it healthy and running well. The first step is to condition the fuel system. The tank is about half full, so mixing it now and running the engine for a few minutes will allow the conditioner to run through all the lines, the filter, and most importantly, the carburetor. Since there's still a lot of fuel left in the tank, I'm using my hand pump to transfer it into my portable fuel can. I can easily use this fuel in my lawnmower later. You can see the fuel in the line has a slight pink color to it due to the fuel conditioner. I pretty much remove as much as I can using the hand pump, but there is still some fuel left throughout the system, so running the engine now will clear out most of that leftover fuel. Today's modern fuel has a tendency to crystallize when left for a while, so I try to remove as much as I can in all my engines before storage. I like to change the oil on my small engines every season. Leaving dirty oil in the crankcase will allow byproducts of combustion to attack the metal parts inside, causing corrosion. Draining the oil now when it's hot allows the oil to flow freely and it keeps the dirt in suspension. This particular engine design includes an extension of the drain hole out over the wheel, allowing me to use a cup to collect the old oil. Great! I'll never see that wrench again. Tipping the machine on its side allows me to collect most of the old oil. Using a cup with graduations allows me to replace the same amount of oil that I took out. Of course, the final adjustment will be confirmed with the dipstick. Here, I'm looking for any metal particles or big chunks of debris. For the most part, this oil looks okay, although I am surprised at how dirty the oil got in one snow-blowing season. Filling the oil requires me to tilt the machine up. Using this 6x6 block, 
helps with that. So here, matching the level that I had drained out with new 10W30 oil, I slowly fill the engine. Final level check is done using the dipstick and the machine back down on level ground. I can never photograph these shots properly, but I have ensured that the level is at the top mark. The next step is to pull the spark plug. This requires removal of a plastic shield on top of the engine. The choke knob is removed, as well as two 5 16 cap screws. This plastic shield also houses the ignition key and the primer bulb. I'm leaving the key wiring and the fuel line in place. I just need to swing the shield out of the way. Here, I'm checking the condition of the plug. It doesn't seem fouled, so I do feel confident that I can use it again next season. With the spark plug still out, I remove the ignition key and give the engine a few good pulls. Doing this will help the clean oil to get into the bearing surfaces. The last part of the fuel system prep requires draining of the carburetor. This particular one has a quarter inch drain bolt on the bottom of the carb pole. You've seen me use this catch cup before to drain other carburetors, and I can easily transfer the empty fuel into the lawnmower. Emptying the carb bowl allows the float to drop down and the needle to come away from the seat, reducing the chances of dried fuel causing problems next winter. This machine has two of these spring tension cables, one for the auger mechanism and one for the drive wheels. Releasing the tension on these springs ensures that they are relaxed during the summer and will retain their tension settings for a longer life. The final step of my process is to give the machine a liberal spray of my favorite rust preventative. My township uses a lot of road salt, and this salt inevitably ends up on my driveway, 
and on the vital parts in the machine. Spraying this goop on not only helps protect the metal from corrosion, but also helps to lubricate any moving parts. This step might seem controversial, but the protective paint on the muffler is long since burnt off, and this will help protect it over the summer. The spray will burn off during the first run of the engine next winter. And so there is my procedure for summer storage on my snowblower. It's now ready to trade places with the lawnmower and have a nice long summer sleep. Thank you for joining me today behind the red door.